Hey everyone, well, the package I've been waiting for for about a month arrived today, and it's my uh, Romac harmonic balancer for the Cobra. <clears throat> um, let's just open up the box and see what we got here. So, I've taken a look at this already, obviously, um, and I'm, I'm really happy with what I got from them. Um, You'll notice a couple of things that are maybe uh, unique about this this balancer, and that's part of why I ordered it. So for one, it's got the 36 minus one tooth wheel on the back, and that's what I need for the Ford EDIS ignition that I'm using. Um, and you can see, walking over to the car here, that uh, basically there's the, you got the crank sensor bracket over there on the left side of the timing cover as I'm looking at it. And then you can see that there's the keyway pointing straight up because the engine's a top dead center. And then over here, you can see that the missing tooth is a top dead center, which is where it's supposed to be. And so I forget how many teeth it's supposed to be, but the missing tooth is supposed to pass the crank sensor a certain number of teeth before top dead center, which it will. Pardon the noise, I cleaned the cat's litter box, and so they decided that it was time to refill it. Um, so back to the balancer here. So 28 ounce external balance, which is what I need for my engine. Um, it has the timing marks on it around the edge. Um, one thing that I should have changed the spec on is, um, they put the timing marks at, I think what, uh, zero degrees for the 10 o'clock position. And I should have ask them to do it over on the the two or three o'clock position hello cat and i'll show you and i'll show you why because basically the zero degree mark is going to be right around here well be, be right around here where my finger's pointing and uh <coughs> the brackets or the, the timing timing mark brackets that you can buy bolt to these holes and they assume that there's nothing here so I may be able to modify one of those and make that work. I'm going to have to look at it, decide a little bit closer. Um, it probably would have been better, although maybe not, because of, I guess maybe it was okay to put it there, because if I had it over on this side, there's the outlet for the water pump, and that probably would have, that probably would have been a worse covering or interference. So maybe I actually did do okay on it. Um, I, so, so why did I go with Romac as opposed to um, ATI or Innovators West or any of those folks? Real reason was because they were, um, they make a good quality product and they were willing to do exactly what I wanted, which was putting the 36 minus one toothed wheel on the back. Um, I talked to Innovators West about this and they said, no, we won't do it. You can you can buy ours and put it on the back yourself, but we're not going to put it on because it's an aluminum damper and we and the, the trigger wheel needs to be steel. Um, so that was kind of annoying, um, especially because Innovators West is only about 100 miles from me uh, over in Topeka, Kansas. So I literally had to go to the other side of the world um, to, to order this. Cost, even with shipping, was pretty comparable. Um, this was about five hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, if you wanted to buy one of these, uh, if you want to buy a balancer from Innovators West, it's about four hundred and fifty. And then, by the time you add in the trigger wheel and all the other stuff, you're you're pretty much right up there. Other thing I like is that this includes the uh, the uh, the pulley uh, for the alternator uh, SFI eighteen point one spec. It's uh, it's a pretty nice unit. So I'm really excited about this. Um, this is something I've needed to make some more progress on the Cobra. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the engine. So we'll be right back. Well, isn't she pretty? I'm really happy with how that turned out. Um, <clears throat> got it all in, got it all torqued to 120 foot-pounds there, like ARP says to. Um, I went with an ARP a bolt and washer on this and um, if you've paid attention to some of the other videos I've, I've used ARP in a lot of places and uh, one tip for you guys 
is I really wish at the beginning of this I'd just gone ahead and bought an ARP fastener kit instead of doing what I did, which was um, kind of nickeling and diming myself, buying ARP kits for a lot of different individual areas. Um, I might have spent a little bit more money, but it sure would have saved me on hassle. Um, <clears throat> then again, I say that having not looked at what the cost of the ARP kit was, so maybe I'm better off having piecemealed it. But um, I'm real happy with how this turned out. Um, it's it's base it's it's really exactly what um, what I wanted in, in every way, and something I've been waiting on for a while. One thing I was kind of concerned about was whether or not the uh, whether or not the trigger wheel was going to line up correctly uh, with the uh, with the crank sensor, and look at that doesn't get much more center than that that's a that's just a that's perfect on the center obviously before I ordered this I went back and forth with Romac a few times took some measurements to try to make sure that this was going to be correct um, but uh, but yep this uh, this looks perfect so now all I need to do is get the um, the crank sensor that's supposed to go in here um, put that in now that this is on, I can also go ahead and order the alternator, um, and I guess I could have done that before, but uh, but now that I've got the the pulley on here, I can get the alternator. I can start mounting it, start figuring out where a lot of the pieces of this puzzle are going to go, because um, I'm really at the point of of uh, trying to get all the, the fixed things that cannot move in their correct locations. Um, so that's really good. So if you're if you're one of the Mega Squirt guys or just looking to run uh, EDIS on a um, on a 302 or 351 um, or really any engine for that matter, I, I think Romac could do this uh, same thing for any engine. I definitely give them a call. Real happy with the customer service and uh, with the product. I'm not going to list the part number that I got specifically because this was sort of a custom deal. And um, uh, there is a part number they made with it, but if you're going to do this, contact them, tell them what you're looking for in your engine because each engine is different. I don't want somebody ordering the part that I use thinking it's going to work for them, uh, and then only to find out that their engine has some differences. So, but yeah, this is this is a really really good product, um, at least at the install level and uh, looking forward to getting this on. So over the weekend, I'm gonna do the fuel lines and now I'm gonna start uh, getting that crank sensor in, start uh, whittling away at the little things that, uh, that need to get done on the car physically. Um, and then once that's all done, that's when I'm gonna start the wiring harness. I, I've decided I don't wanna start on the wiring until I get all the stuff in place that could potentially interfere with the wires. Um, so that seems like a, a solid plan. Plus, I'm not, I don't really like electrical work. So there's that part too. So anyway, I uh, hope, you, hope you like this and um, stay tuned for more updates.